has been getting nicer and nicer it's really sunny out today um, and that means it's finally time to go back to wearing nice cute normal clothing that isn't uh, thermals and leggings and sweats and layers and puffers so it has been an exciting little while a little couple of weeks here um, putting together outfits again and just getting excited about getting ready and styling um, outfits and yeah just looking cute for like the sunny weather I have some pieces here that I wanted to share with you guys today from Revolve huge thanks to Revolve for gifting me some of these pieces to style for spring um, and kind of going into summer I know we're not I know we're not close to summer yet but that is the season that I look forward to the most so yeah I'm always kind of like as soon as December's over I'm like okay like let's start prepping for summer because you know my favorite season. I have a pretty good balance of kind of like basics in this little haul as well as some pieces that I don't usually go for um, and don't have in my closet because I wanted to keep things a little bit more interesting and fun for the spring. I think you guys really enjoy this little haul but yeah let's just go ahead and get started. The first piece is very much so appropriate for uh, the springtime and the summertime actually and it's this super super adorable song of style vest in this lovely kind of like beigey color I got this in a size small and honestly I think I could have probably gotten this in an extra small um, it does fit a little bit loose for my torso I usually don't wear extra smalls I usually wear small but because I am lacking a little bit in the breast department. I want to say like the sewing here in this area is kind of made to ensure that there's no like wardrobe malfunctions even for girls who are a little bit chestier and so because of that it does feel a little bit loose in this area and then I do think that like overall the torso piece is a little bit big. I think I could have gotten away with an extra small in this top and have it sit kind of like more tightly but I will say it still looks really cute kind of looser as well it just gives off a slightly different vibe which is cool with me this outfit is truly like the epitome of going into spring because I can still throw like a nice coat over this but I'm still like wearing long pants I'm just diving into like sandals and open-toed shoes and I think this like lovely kind of like linen material is awesome for spring summer as well so this is really yeah this is really kind of my like transition to spring outfit I typically wear a lot more white nudes pinks um, and just like those lighter colors in the spring and summer and then I used to do a lot of blacks and this year I've been doing a lot of browns as well for the winter but honestly I feel like this over like a top would kind of be cute too just imagine this over like a little turtleneck maybe um, and then with like a sweater like maybe a cardigan on top of that I feel like it could be kind of a cool layering piece so maybe I will play around with that next time but I really wanted to do some cute spring outfits as you can tell the next piece is another very very epitome of spring um, piece because it's a sweater but it's got this awesome cutout detail that goes from your left shoulder kind of down to like the middle of the top and then it kind of has this like asymmetry to it because it's not a straight line right down the middle it goes from like it goes on a diagonal essentially which I think is really cool and then it just kind of stops here so that it actually has a bit of a split um, at the bottom which I think is also quite a unique kind of bit to this top even though it is a very spring top with the colors and the cutout it is still quite a nice like good quality knit which means that if I wear this underneath 
um, a thicker jacket, it will actually keep me quite warm, which is awesome. This is by Hours. I find that I actually really like Hours, like the brand um, by Revolve. I find that I gravitate towards a lot of their pieces and I got this one in a size small, which is my size and it fits really well. Something like this, I do think that it should be a little bit more form-fitting and yeah, I think that this hugs my body really well without being too, too tight. And this material just drapes really nicely. I don't know what it is about this like, knit it just it's a little heavier even though it's light and it just drapes really lovely on the body i think the cutout is really well placed and overall i am really really obsessed with this top i paired it with a little white mini skirt but i think this even with like a cargo skirt like a cargo micro skirt i think would be really fun those are getting really popular again this season or this year or i paired it also once with jeans which i'll insert a clip and show you guys what that looks like here but i think that it is quite versatile and that i am going to get a lot of wear out of this because honestly i get cold very easily so even in the spring and sometimes in the summer i do <laughs> resort to a nice long sleeve anyways so this is actually really perfect for that. The next top is another one by Song of Style. I've actually been meaning to try Song of Style pieces for quite some time. So I did find some pieces by them that I loved for this season and this was one of them. This is this lovely button down and it's in this like gorgeous drapey, I don't even know how to, it's like a stretchy drapey material. And it's not your kind of typical button down because where it starts so okay you can button it down but the top part actually isn't meant to be buttoned so if you look at it here this button is actually where you're supposed to start buttoning because it's kind of like a v-neck at the top i don't honestly know if you could even button it together because there's just like the way that it was made, it's meant to be worn as a little v-neck at the top. So if you're looking for a top where you can actually button it all the way up, this probably isn't the top for you, but I really like that. I typically never button my buttons up, buttons up all the way to the top. So this is actually really great because it kind of, like the neckline stays open and that's what I like about it. And that's what I wish would happen with a lot of my like dress shirts just have kind of an open neckline just because it just because it is a little bit more flattering on me because I'm a little bit more flat chested and then the collars are actually a little bit a little bit dramatic as well if you can see it's like a little bit bigger than your typical collar and it's like pointier um, which I think is quite fun but yeah other than that this I also got in a size small and it fit really well. This is another top that you're gonna be able to wear with jeans, with a skirt, with shorts, and it's just gonna be a really versatile piece for the spring and summer. So yeah, another great basic that I think is a little bit different, a little bit more unique than your typical basic, but still such a great versatile piece. I did pick out one pair of pants this time around and it's these awesome, green cargos from the brand Aaliyah or Aaliyah X Revolve. Um, I got this in a medium because on the like actual listing, the model was wearing a medium and she seemed quite small. They're huge, but the sides here have this little clasp drawstring thing where you can tighten it um, and make it fit your waist, which actually turned out great because I do like how baggy these are in the medium. They are like super slouchy, super baggy, and I can just kind of adjust the waist to fit whether I wanted to fit them like high-waisted or like low-waisted, I can kind of play around with that. So I ended up actually really, really liking these. When I first tried them on, I was like, holy shit, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to like keep these. But um, yeah, I played around with them a little bit and I actually ended up really loving these, so I'm keeping them in the medium. It's just also such a lovely green color. I own one other pair of green cargos, which in my opinion, almost feel a little bit too green. Like I've been having issues just styling those cargos because yeah the, the green almost seems a little too bright but this kind of almost gives off that like sage khaki green and I find that this is even though it's green it's a lot more neutral and easier to like pair with other colors I have been really loving it lately cargos are kind of my new obsession I did also pick up 
recently this other pair of like parachute pants that maybe I'll share with you guys in another haul, but these, so good. So if you're looking for a really good like staple pair of baggy cargos that you can wear low waisted and kind of go for that aesthetic, I think these are an absolute must have. They're so good. All right, onto the outerwear category. I did pick out two pieces of outerwear, one being this. It's this super cute white puffer. This is from the brand Eves and I got this in a medium. I probably honestly could have gotten this in a small, but I do like my puffers a little bit oversized. Um, I think though that this puffer already came oversized, so buying it a little, like a size bigger than my usual size probably wasn't all that necessary, but it still fits really well. I love how it looks um, and it's just really cool. Like I like that it is in a full, like fluffy puffer. It's got this white portion as well, which is like this lovely, I don't even know. It's, it's such a nice material here at the bottom actually. It is a little bit thin, I would say. Like if it was the dead of winter, I don't think I could pull off wearing this as my outer layer uh, in Vancouver, just because I think it is like a polyester fill as well. Um, and it is a little bit on the thinner side. But I think for like winter going into spring or even when it becomes like fall going into winter, this is gonna be that perfect puffer if you still wanna get that like that cozy puffer look without just sweating your ass off wearing like your North Face puffer or anything like that. This has been a really great one just throwing over in the morning when I'm like walking Nika and stuff because typically when I do the longer walks with her and I'm wearing a puffer, by the end of it I am sweating no matter how cold it is outside i end up absolutely sweating and this has been like a really great alternative to that i know you guys have already seen this outerwear piece because i paired it with my little pink sweater but i got another outerwear piece by eve this is this awesome leather trench i also got this in a medium which again i don't think was all that necessary i feel like i mean these are the only two eves items that i own but I do feel like they run a little bit big. So if you are buying any of these items, I think you could take your regular size and it'd be fine. But again, same with the puffer, the leather trench looks fine oversized, I would say. It still drapes really well. And yeah, overall, I still think it looks really great. It gives off a very almost Matrix vibe. I feel like Matrix leather trenches would be a little bit more tailored than like this oversized look but i want to say it gives off kind of like a modern day uh matrix look which is kind of fun it is not genuine leather so it is an artificial leather but i honestly kind of prefer it that way because i know that if it was genuine leather like i would probably ruin it especially with long drapey coats like this i feel like just walking past something that's a little bit sharp it would just pull and snag and i feel a little bit less bad because it is um, not a genuine leather piece. Also, when it is raining, I find that I get really nervous about my leather pieces, and I think this is definitely one that I see myself taking out of the closet a lot in the fall time, especially when it starts to rain a little bit, um, just because it is that like vegan leather, and those stand up quite well in the rain. And those are all the pieces that I picked out from Revolve for spring and summer. Of course, I have all of the pieces listed below in links. They have some really, really, really good spring summer pieces right now and it's making me want to shop even more but make sure to go and check them out if you end up getting any of these pieces and you style them tag me on instagram or wherever because i would love to see how you guys style these pieces and of course if there's any of these pieces that you want to like get more styling tips on um feel free to let me know in the description and i can try to include it in a future video all right that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed this little mini try on haul. I actually have been having so much fun doing these fashion related videos again. I know I kind of really lean towards the career content, the productivity content, and like the vlogs now, but these are always some of the most fun videos for me to make because I get to get creative with my outfit planning. I'm obviously not wearing these outfits like when I go grocery shopping, which is, you know, all I leave my house for really 
but um, yeah, it's really fun getting to like put it, put together these outfits and um, share them with you guys. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.